What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome to my channel. If you are new, you already know who it is. It's the coolest kid on the block. Your girl Dasani. Today I am going to be testing out the new Eco Styler Gel, the blue one. It's Eco Styler Sports. I actually do not have it with me right now, which is why I didn't put it out yet i did not come prepared but it's at my mom's house and i'm not there so i don't have it with me but i'm going to be showing you guys how i worked in my hair and telling you guys my thoughts on it but this is a chit chat kind of like get ready with me style video and then obviously the end of this video is going to be my my review on it so it's gonna be a chit chat slash review kind of thing so if you are interested in watching this video seeing how the blue eco solid gel works if you saw it in the store and you're like oh i kind of want to get that kind of want to mm, 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 but you know you don't want to waste your money yet i'm going to tell you if it worked or if it did not work and to find that out you're going to have to keep watching so again i hope you guys do enjoy this video make sure you subscribe down below make sure you like this video and comment below which one is your favorite eco styler gel and which one you want to try and yeah just keep on watching so this is first of all this is not going to be the intro of this video i'm very comfortable on here but this is not how new people are going to see me but again in today's video i am going to be trying out this the blue eco styler gel it is 16 in the morning and I you know when you just don't want to wash your hair like I just I just didn't want to wash my hair like oh I'm gonna make this a chit chat kind of thing <laughs> but yeah I just did not want to wash my hair like literally I sat and so I like um I this is why I can't do these <laughs> but um I wow this is gonna be so hard I'm so sorry <sighs> okay what am I talking about so I, I knew I needed to wash my hair because we and Asa are hanging out tomorrow so like I know I need my hair to be done and also like I was just my hair was I was just putting my hair in slick backs and stuff but like you know when you need to wash your hair when your slick backs aren't slicking like they were good but you know my hair was dirty so they could have been better but anyway so I knew I needed to wash my hair and I just I like you know I did my pre poo which if you guys haven't watched my watch routine watch that I finished that at like 9 30 10 and I just sat there until 1 a.m. Literally it's 1 a.m. I got in the shower at like 1 30 because I was like okay I have to do my hair like literally I have to like whatever so that's the fastest I've ever washed my hair like I was out in like 30 minutes I got out at like two I just washed and shampooed I obviously didn't deep condition because no, I don't have a blow dryer here. Mom doesn't have a blow dryer, and I didn't bring a blow dryer, so I probably I might have to air dry tomorrow, which is another thing that I don't necessarily enjoy doing. But yeah, that was that's a little bit of background on like this before, like what I did before this. So it's 2 a.m. Anyways, yeah, I'm using the Mia Organics Leave-In Conditioner, which I did a whole review on this line. So watch the video too, but yeah, I did do a whole review. And yeah, so while I'm prepping my hair for the Eco Side Gel, basically, and I'm gonna let's talk about okay, I'm 2022 is literally by the time this is posted. Like, I think it'll be, like, a day away. Like, it's probably posted on, like, I think the 30th. So, it's, like, two days away. And so, let's talk about, like, let's see what I, what, what, whoa. <laughs> let's talk about, like, how 2021 was for me. And then I'll talk about, like, what I want to expect or what I expect from 2022. 2020, 
one was a year. It was, I'm not gonna cap, like it was a, a year. It, it was a year of growth for me in a whole different like way. Like it was just, it was, it was crazy. Like, I, first of all, I went into 2021 low key heartbroken. I would say the biggest thing I learned in 2021 is don't, when you're putting yourself first, don't let someone come and knock you off that just because of the past. That's what I would say. Because I, like I said, I learned a lot in 2021. So like a lot of stuff I went through, like second semester for me was so bad. Like emotionally, it was just so bad. Like. It was a time where I was like crying like every single day. And when I started, I started, I don't know, I think 2021 for me, now that I'm reflecting on it, was kind of, it wasn't unhealthy, but like, I don't know, even in some of the ways that I healed from heartbreak, wasn't, it wasn't not healthy but like i don't know it was just like okay that's a way to go about it you know like the stuff that i was doing was like okay but i would say biggest thing that i learned is like when when you're healed from something and it if it comes back don't let it throw you off from all that healing that you just went through because like you go through months of healing because healing doesn't happen overnight so you go through months of healing and then you let whatever the whatever the thing is back in because of let's say history or because you're just you're just forgiving but like then then if they prove you right about or wrong about them like about it being different they gotta heal again over the same thing and then it just makes you feel like, dang, did all that, did all that just to be back in the same position. So that's how I'm ending 2021. Like, okay, let's, let's refocus. Let, let's refocus. So I would say my goals for 2022, which I always try to go into the year with this mindset, but I never come out successful. But my two main focus for 2022 is what I would like to say, discipline and consistency are my two main focuses. For the year because first of all if you're not disciplined you can't be consistent and if you're not disciplined nothing like you don't really get anything and our main focus even though i say this every year but i'm so serious this year is my youtube because out of everything it makes me the happiest it's like i said when i in the beginning like it is where i'm the most comfortable not comfortable in a sense like I don't want to like change like comfortable in the sense where it's like comfortable like I'm just myself but, like in front of the camera the most myself in front of the camera which is ironic because I'm really shy but that section of my hair was really tangled but yeah so I do want to like I was just thinking this like I just want to see 1k like, I just want to see 1K. Like, I don't want to stay stagnant at 1K, but, like, that's my goal right now. It's just 1K. Like, I just... Nothing crazy. Like, eventually I'm going to have a crazy... But when that comes, it won't be crazy anymore. But eventually I'm going to have a crazy, like, goal, like, 100K. But right now I just want to see 1K. I wholeheartedly believe, like, bro, just, just do it, like, for a year. Just because it's for a year six months like make it to a part like I just want to make it where it is 
my everyday like it's a part of my routine like going to the gym or something same thing so over the break i've been trying to what's the word i've been trying to buckle down on you know like on tiktok we all see this stuff i'm looking in, in the mirror by the way but you you see the romanticize your life like romanticize your life whatever and one time i don't like did like I, in my mind i romanticized my life all that school and I had the best day ever so i've been trying to like mindfully do my days like an influencer like making even though like i'm not an influencer because like my follow like i'm an influencer because i make creative content but i'm not an influencer in a way where like why am i holding this i'm not an influencer in a way where like i have brand deals and like i have a huge huge following but i try to i've been trying to wake up every day like an influencer and be in the mindset of one so that way like because if i'm doing that then i'm doing everything that i want to do in the life that i'm preparing myself for that makes sense so it's, it's kind of it's basically a way of manifesting to like do if that's the life you want to live then if that's the path you want to walk then walk that path basically or it's easier to do when like i don't have school kind of like in the way and i've been saying this recently too. but school is like a burden when it comes to like youtube and stuff because it's like okay now that's more stuff to to tackle in 24 hours in a day when in reality you don't have 24 hours in a day you only have 12 because you you have like 12 to 14 because you you sleep and then you have to day so it's 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 a lot because i'm gonna have to wake up do my classes do extracurriculars try to film try to edit and that's why it's so hard to be consistent during school. But I'm really trying to like, this semester, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try to kind of be, beat those odds because one, it's my last semester. Like, two, it being that it is my last semester, like when I'm done with school and I can focus on YouTube, I wanna at least have like some, like I don't wanna always have to come back and rebuild the following. So. Like my views are low and stuff like that, which doesn't, I've got out of that mindset. enjoy posting so that part of it doesn't hold me back or it's not a blockage for me more for me anymore because I can get five views and I'm still going to post all month here or Sunday because I really could care less about the views. I just want to prove to myself that I can be consistent and I want to see what being consistent will bring me. Yeah. I'm going to do my leave-in conditioner and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm done with all these sections putting the curl smoothie in. This is the last one that I have to put the curl smoothie in for. Um, I didn't record like me doing all of it, all of it just because I have a video of my like curly hair routine. So I was like, you know, I don't necessarily need to do that. But to finish off what I was saying about like my goals and stuff and YouTube and stuff, Basically, my biggest goal for 2022 is to be consistent and to be disciplined with all of my goals, not even just YouTube, but that's one of the main ones is YouTube, obviously, because, you know, I do stop posting for like a couple months and then I hate having to feel like, dang, if I would have stayed consistent for like that year or those four months that I was gone, like I wonder where my channel would be. But at the same time, like, you can't, like, you can't dwell on the past, you just gotta try, you just gotta try to change your future, or fix your future, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't dwell on, like, oh, I should have done, like, I shouldn't have not posted, or whatever, whatever, because if, I also really do believe in, like, your time will come, like, everything happens for a reason, your time is your time. So if my time was supposed to have been happening on YouTube, it would have been happened. Like I would have been been consistent like those past times. So I think each time and just it, every day it's just it's like everyone says it's building you into where you're supposed to be. And another thing that when you're doing your hair is however your hair looks wet is how it's going to look dry so if your curls don't look defined 
wet, they're not going to be defined dry. Like if your curls look frizzy wet, if your hair looks frizzy wet, it's going to be frizzy dry. If it feels dry wet, which is, it shouldn't feel dry wet, but if it, it feels like your products aren't moisturizing your hair, when it dries, it's going to feel the same way. Like if your hair looks, if your curls look defined wet, they're going to most likely be defined dry so that's something that i like to pay attention to like heavily that's why like i'll keep going over a part because if it's frizzy now like if i put the blow dry on it, if i air dry it, if i send it to dry if i diffuse it however i'm gonna dry it that's how it's gonna look dry and i don't want to waste my time doing a wash and go or any hairstyle for that matter just for it to dry and not look good like no, because once it's dry, it's like with anything, like once it's dry, like it's set basically, like it's set, it's done, it's done so. Like you're not like, you have to re-wet it with your spray bottle to try to kind of like fix it, so. We are going to now put the Eco Styler on. So, as everyone probably knows, like Eco Styler went, people canceled it way back. But you know, I tried to cancel it and I just couldn't. Wetline, I did. Wetline is my girl though. But you know, Eco is that girl too. So this smells very perfumey. It smells, it smells good though, but very, very perfumey. But this is, this is new, which is why I got it. Like it says new on the bottom. And it says for all hair types, long lasting, hold and shine, no flake, no tech, anti itch, which Eco always says. Um, and this is the sport version. It, this is basically the pink one is my all time fave. I love the pink, but I'm pretty sure this is just that because this is curl and wave, and then this is the sport version. And it's a 10 hold, yeah. Mm. Mm. That looks good. <laughs> it does. So, let me show you guys. And I'm just smoothing, especially for gel. Like, I literally only smoothed for gel because we're trying to get that definition. Like, we're not trying to, we just want definition, bro. So, you can already see. That definition is crazy. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I do not have the Blue Eco Styler Gel with me. But as you guys just saw, I tested it out on my hair. And you guys saw the way it, my hair reacted wet. Um, so um, the next day, this is actually day two here. This is not first day here. But the next day, um, when I woke up, my hair did have like white flakes in it. So I was just, I let it dry just to like watch it basically to see what my hair was going to do, if it was going to dry with the white flakes or dry clear, and it did dry clear. Um, so if you do have white flakes in your hair, then it, it dries clear. So that was the, that was the good part about it all, um, is that it dried clear. So um, to sum it all up, I actually really did enjoy the Blue Eco Styler Gel. I thought it worked really, really good. It felt really nice on my hair too. Like when I was putting it on, my hair did feel really moisturized. Um, now granted, I did use it with products beforehand, so maybe I should have tried it without products, but I didn't want my hair to be crunchy. So, you know, take that as you will. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, this is day two here. This is not day one. And I know y'all, I'm screaming. I know y'all like, well, damn, bitch. <laughs> you are not reliable at all. I'm screaming. But um, for day two here, though, this is really good. Um, yesterday, my hair was way more defined. I'll put some pictures in because I did take pictures. Um, and today, my hair is way more voluminous, but my curls are still there. So I think overall, like, I really, I really liked it. Like, that's really all I can say is that it worked really good. It did make my hair feel moisturized. And even now, my hair doesn't feel, like, dry. Like, my hair still feels good. It still looks good. Like... It has the length to it. It's, it moves. Like, day one hair, like, 
basically I wasn't able to really like blow dry it. I blow dried it a little, but I really let my hair air dry yesterday. And my hair wasn't crunchy. I didn't have to put no oil on it to like loosen it up. Like literally it dried and I just went like, and my curls were so tight yesterday. Like it was like up here tight. Like they were so tight. Y'all know I don't even, I don't even banks with that for real. But you know, there was something that I could do about it because you know, that's the cards that I was dealt. So my hair wasn't crunchy. It was no white flakes. It was no white residue. It still felt soft. It felt nice. It felt moisturized. Like it was a good time. It was a good experience. So I definitely will give it a 10 out of 10. The hold on it is great. It is a 10 hold. So I definitely do think, do think that it sticks by that. And I'm not, I feel like, let's go. I'm filming. <sighs> I definitely think that Eco, Eco Styler has kind of changed. I think they changed their ingredients a little bit because I think these new ones that they're coming out with, just they're really, really good. Like if you guys haven't tried the pink one, I, I talked about that in a, a little bit. But yeah, if you tried the pink one, it works really good. I do want to try the blue one on a slick back, so that'll probably be my next video, like to see how well it slicks down in your hair. Um, but I think, I think that's going to be a 10 out of 10 too. So... But yeah, that's all I really have to say. It's like it's eco salad gel, but it was really good. Like I was gonna say is that I really liked it. So, you know, I don't have any negative, no cons, no nothings. Like it just worked really good. So I would definitely give it a try. Like I think like I was saying, I definitely think that the new ones, the new colors is better than the red one, the green one. Like let's leave those in 2015. Like I don't know. The new colors, the pink, the white, the clear, I mean the pink, the clear, the blue. The new colors is where it's really at. No kissing. No cap. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go out and you try the Blue Ego Styler Gel because it does work really good. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the post notifications. You know, let's get there. I figure let's build something together. I mean, because I really think we could work. You know what I'm saying? I really think we could build something. But I do hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope that you guys are enjoying the natural hair videos. I've actually really been enjoying filming them, which is for a minute I was not, I didn't want to film any natural hair videos, but I have been enjoying filming them and all that good stuff. Now I don't know how long they are gonna last because I'm quick to do something. I am. But for now, I hope that you guys have been enjoying, like I've said and have been saying. Make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you like this video. And also, don't forget, we made it this far into the video. Along with the first comment that I told you guys to do, comment and tell me one item we got for Christmas. Mm, I got a record player. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next video. And I do, I do, I do, I do, of course. Love you all. So, bye.